for you. The only thing you have to do is just walk in. Because your end was already done at, at the beginning. Can I help out with this? Before he called you forth, when he called you, the end came with it. Did you hear what I said? Yes. yes. When he called your name, yes. not only did he call you to come forth, but he called your ear yeah. results to come yes. forth. Oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. So your ear results came forth yes. when he called you. Uh -huh. yes. That means that he allowed you now to pre-play your ear results. Uh -huh. Because it's already uh -huh. come to pass. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I wish I mm. I got this one here because some of y'all need some music. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, the reason why I'm shouting now is because I just pre-played my end results. I just pre-played my coming out part. I just yes. pre-played my total deliverance. Yes. 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 Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, I'm in a pre-play mode. I'm in a pre so if you see me getting a little happy right about now, I just pre-played my end result. I just, I just saw the end what God is getting ready to do. I saw me coming out of this stuff. I thought I was going to be stuck in this. I thought this was my end result. I just, I just put the pre-play button and I saw some good. God just told me that he's thinking about me and he has to expect the end for me. I'm happy that's why I feel good today, knowing that I'm not stuck in this situation. Because this too shall pass. I just pre-prayed the mud, I just pre-prayed it, I saw me coming out of my storm. This person can't hold me, this stroke can't hold me, this the depression can't hold me. Why? Because I just hit the pre-pray button and I saw me coming out. If you'll forget your past yes, God. and yes, process God. your history, yes. mm -hmm. your good days will outweigh your bad days. Yes. 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 You spend too much time trying to remember something that he did already forgive you. Yes, God. Glory to God. Forgiving you for. Mm. And what happens is that even though Christ has forgiven you, the enemy will use other people to remind you mm -hmm. of what God has already delivered you from. Yes. Yes. Well, let me help you because you may not have read this in your word. The Bible says that the devil is the accuser yes. of the brother. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you something. What you're saying, Bishop, what I'm trying to tell you is that the enemy will always oh, put your path on right. other folks' mind so they can remind you of what yes. you came from, yes. where you came from. But you got to understand, that's his job. I don't belong to them. I don't belong to you any longer. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to tell them, I don't belong to you any longer. But I'm, what I'm doing now is processing everything that God said I'm going to do right now. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I'm forgetting those yeah. things yeah. which are behind me because that's what they need to be behind me. Yeah. And I'm reaching forth those things with our head, our press. Yeah. Our press. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. For the mark, for the prize of the heart call. Yes. In Christ Jesus. So if you want to be stuck on stupid oh, yeah. and waste all your time trying to remember, remind me of where I came from. Because uh -huh. I ain't listening to you anyway. Y'all yeah. have, have to do what I do. When folks try to remind me of who I am and when they talking too much, I just smile and nod. <laughs> smile and nod. Did you actually think I'm listening to you? I just smile and nod. Go ahead. Just, just get it out your system. Mm. It ain't going to change me one bit at all. Yeah. Right. I know I've been delivered. Uh -huh. I know they used to beat me. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I, I know that some ladies will like this, that when they get married and they take on a new name, mm -hmm. the name of their husband, when you try to call them by the old name, right. they're so quick to remind you yes, that they no longer date. Uh -huh. All right. Because that name 
reminds me that I was once single. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got a new name now. That name reminds me that I'm married now. Right. So, so, so everything that happened in the single life is attached to that name. Uh -huh. Come on. Right, God. Everything that happened in my married life is attached to this thing. So if you want to let people know when they try to remind you of your past, you can see when I came to Christ, I got a new name. Not only did I get a new walk, a new talk, but I got a new name too. So you try to remind me of everything I've done in my past. You want to tell, yeah, that was the old person. That person was no down. That person was no good. That person had some problems. That person had some situation. You can trust that person. Don't close your eyes on that person. Don't turn your back on that person. That person will hurt you. That was that was him. But I'm a new man now. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So if you, you want to spend all your time remembering my past, go ahead. Because what they're going to do is stop you from processing your future. Because you worry about my past. You, you know what happened? You stop, uh, you stop existing as an individual because you're spending all your time worrying about my past. Thank you, God. Nothing will ever happen for you. You'll never move forward. You'll never do anything new. You'll never have what you desire from God. Why? Because you spend all your time worrying about me. Am I that important that you got to worry about me? Jesus. That you will cease to live yourself because you're worried about me? I'm not worried about what nobody does on this earth, in this church. I can't, I can't consume my time worrying about that. Take no thought. I'm not worried about you. It's enough just trying to keep me on the straight path. That's right. For me to worry about you. One last thing and I'm through. If Jesus can forgive you. Of all the stuff you've done, yes, baby, you ought to have a heart to forgive everybody else. Yes. Yes. You ought to walk around with some folks and say, hey, I just love you. I love you. I thank God for you. I, I'm not trying to hold you back because he was able to forgive me. He was able to look past my fault. Yes. Surely. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Surely I ought to be able to do the same yes. thing. Yes. Why? Why? Because if I can't forgive you, he won't forgive me. That's right. That's it. That's it. Man. So if he can't forgive me on my past, I can't process my future if I can't forgive. If I can't forgive you because he won't forgive me. As long as I'm not forgiven, I have no future as long as I'm not forgiven. Amen. And the only thing that's going to release future into my life is the moment I learn to forgive folks. Amen. Stop holding people hostage. You're holding too many people hostage. Amen. Y'all got to let them loose and let God deal with them. Amen. Amen. If God can dry you out, clean you up, pick you up, surely he'll do the same thing for you. Stop forgiving. Remember your history? Yes, that was one day you wasn't no good? You better remember right. your history? Amen. Amen. Folks come into church and they come and they on the drug dealers or prostitutes and then we got the death to try to turn our nose up. You better not turn your nose up. You can do it yourself. Yes. Yes. What's the difference? My God. Amen. In a prostitute who goes out on the street and sells her body for money mm. than a woman who allowed a man to lay up in her house Fisher. and don't have a job. What you say? Ooh. You better come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. Help uh, us. Tell me what's the difference. Ooh. Help us. There is no difference. Uh. And just one choose to walk the street, the other just choose to stay at home. Come on, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. 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 Ok
Remember your history. Remember your history. That's a, that's a message that I preached some time ago that said that God is tired of the shack. Watch this. Because a lot of y'all just went natural with me. Help us, help us. Help but I ain't talking about the natural. All right. He said, I need a commitment from yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. That comes a point in the time in a person's life when they say, I'm tired of the shack. Mm -hmm. I want to commit. Yes, yes. Wow. yes. You got some women that fool with you brothers for so long. Then they say, hey, I'm tired of the shack. Yeah. I don't see no ring on my finger. I don't see no paper. Yeah. I want to commit. Help us, help us. And God has said the same thing Thank to you. the people of God. Help us. I'm tired of the shack. Thank you. Help us. I'm tired of you getting what you think you can get from me and get you to my commitment. You won't make a commitment to me, but yet you still got your hand out. Yeah. Yeah. You won't make a commitment to me, yet you still call on me. You don't make a commitment to me yet, yet you still want me to show up when you call me. Yeah. My God, my God. Help us, God. You got you you're making a commitment. You, uh, you, you don't want me no commitment, but you want to call me for a booty call. Oh, oh, help us. Jesus, Jesus. I had to go to the so y'all can see us. Come on, baby. Uh -huh. you, you want him to show up? You want him to show up, shake brown and roll. But God is sitting there with his arms stretched out and saying, why can't I get a commitment? Oh my God. Oh my God. Because it seems like you doing all the You only call me when you need me. Oh oh mm. When things are going well, I can't find you. Jesus. You act just like Adam. Where art thou? Mm. Oh. Only when you need something, I hear from you. Mm. <clears throat> Help us, God. And then you get mad when I don't show up. When you mm -hmm. Come on, Bishop. Mm -hmm. God said, I'm tired of this shot. Yep, yep. Come on, Bishop. I want to commit. commit. Yes, yes. There, there are women now, and it hurts my heart when I, when I hear them say that they've been, they've been in a relationship 10 to 15 years, and yet they're not married yet. You ain't going to get mad. Help us, Lord. Hear me. It's not going to happen. Mm. You know the reason why it's not going to happen? If you if you giving him everything he needs, now, and you ain't married to him, he'll never. That's right. He would never. Hear me. He would never mm. marry you. Samples from you. Long as you can keep eating, getting a slice of your pie. Mm -hmm. He'll never buy the pie. Mm -hmm. That's right. Help us, help us, help us. Never buy it. Let me tell you how men are. Men we're hunters. We hunt. Men like to have a challenge. They like a challenge. If you so easy, let me tell you in the mind of a man, if you're easy with him, you'll be easy with the next. Right. They all are the ones that never take home to their mom. Because they know what their mom will stand for. And God is simply telling us, I want you to stop the spiritual shaking that you're doing with me. Yeah. And make a commitment. Because I made a covenant with you. That I will be a God to you if you'll be a people to me. I'm holding up my end of the bottle. The problem don't lie with me. The problem lies with you. Get yourself together. Come on, stand with me. memory.
we're remembering the wrong stuff. And what frustrates you is that the enemy got you remembering your past rather than you remembering your history. Because your history will remind you that if God did it before, his will be here. The past only shows you the trouble, the problems, everything you went through that should have taken you out. But your history tells you, it shows me that I went through this, and God delivered me and set me free from this. So every time I go through a situation, I shall always go back in history and remember God bringing me out of it. But the enemy always want to show us what we all want God destroyed. And God is trying to tell you, if I did it before, I do it again. You here this morning, come to some people this morning who says, I want to forget my past. Said that, you know, I really, really never forgave. I God forgave me of my past, and then I really never forgave myself for it. And it could be that people, it could be that people are not bringing your past up. You're doing it to yourself. Amen. Because you ain't forgiving yourself yet. Yes. Maybe you're here. Because the first plea to those that say, hey, I want to be forgiven for my past. Yes. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. My past no longer going di to dictate my life nor my future. I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let it go right here. I'm gonna drop it off right here. If that's you, I want you to come. I'm gonna make three pleas here. I want you to come quickly yes. and and let let these at the altar pray for you. Let me tell you something. Whatever you share here goes no farther than here. Amen. The amen. The very ear you're speaking to now. Yes. That's where amen. it stands. Amen. Yes. Amen. You ain't got to worry about what you say, what you do, what you don't. Yes. Pay. Yes. Because I have to constantly remind the people of God here that if it wasn't for the grace and mercy of God, Amen. Amen. we ain't got the right so to point the fingers. Nobody. Amen. Amen. Not one person. So if you're here this morning and you say, hey, I am forgiving myself. I'm ask God to forgive me. I want to be forgiven. Why don't you come? Okay. Yes, God. Yes, Every God. head yes. bow. Hallelujah. Every head Hallelujah. bow. Amen. Every Hallelujah. head bow. Hallelujah. Every head bow. Thank you. If, that's, if, if God is talking to you, I want you to come. Hallelujah, God. I want you to come. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Yes. Second, second, please. Is that you said, God, I'm sorry that I have doubted you in time past. You're proving yourself over, over to me again. God, I need you to help me remember my history. Yes, yes. I need to always keep my history before me. Yes, yes, of all you've done for me. And God, I just want to come and tell you, hey, I'm sorry for even doubting you. Thank you. Because yes. you proved yourself to me over and over again. Yes. If that's you, by every head bowed, eyes closed, why don't you come? Why don't you come? By the Spirit of God speak to you. By the Spirit of God speak to you. Third thing. You hear this morning say, hey, I'm tired of checks. Spiritually, I've been checking with God too long. I have not made a commitment to God. I, I want so much from God. I'm always calling on God, but when God needs me, God calls me, I'm nowhere to be found. Amen. That you to say, hey, I want to stop the check and I want to make a commitment to you, God, today. Yes. If that's you, why don't you come? Yes, God. Let's pray. Yes, God. Let's pray. I want to make a commitment to God. I want to make a commitment to God. Yes, yes, because if I can't commit myself to God, I can't commit myself to a woman. Yes. If I can't commit myself to God, I can't commit myself to a man. Yes. I need to commit myself to you first, God. Yes. If that's you, why don't you come? Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. God knows. He sees it here. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Get it back. Get it back. Come. Don't leave here the same way you came in. You got an opportunity right now to set the record straight with you and God. 
I told you. Don't try to please man. Don't try to please Amen. please flesh. Amen. Let's please him. He's the Amen. only one who has the power to forgive and restore. Amen. You're here now. Why don't you come? Let's pray. Let's get it right. Let's get it right with God. Now is the simple time. You hear my voice. Yes. Call out your heart. Yes. Yes. You're here this morning. You want you want you want you want a new you want to set a new course for your life. You want to set new directions in your life. You want to receive the fullness of God, the blessings of God. Why don't you come? Why don't you come? Let's pray. Let's pray. Why don't you come? My brother, my sister, why don't you come? Let's pray. Don't allow the enemy to tell you. He's talking to you now. He's talking to you. He tells you, he tells you, he tells you, he tells you don't make no sense to move. Tell you you ain't ready yet. Don't give up the best thing you ever had. Don't do that. Let me tell you something. Don't allow the enemy to rob you of what God wants to do for you and do for you in your life today. Don't let him rob you. Now is the day. I make the decision for God. You hear? You hear? Why don't you come? Why don't you come? Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Praise your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Father, we thank you for the word. We thank you for the man of God who ministered out of his heart. Father, we just simply say we hear what you're saying, God. So I desire, Lord God, to be committed to you. For those who didn't come to the altar but had a desire for change, we ask that you touch them right there where they are. Minister to the hearts of your people and allow change to take place. We thank you. We ask for blessing, Lord God, over their lives. In Jesus' name, we ask for strength of our bishop. As he delivered the word, Lord God, that you would give him the strength that he had lost. We thank you for the healing of the head in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, that the word, Lord God, the, the word, though it was strong, God, was needed for this time. And we thank you, Lord God, for you sending us a word that's not just going to tickle our fancy, but it's going to help us to be a better person. We love you. We bless your name. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen.